Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 37th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to wrap up our discussion on numeric functions. We're going to have a look at uh, four functions and uh, not all of them are important but I just thought that you know I should uh, have at least one more tutorial on numeric functions and then in the next tutorial we are going to kick start uh, you know uh, our discussion on string functions right so the first one that we're going to have a look at is the radiance function and what this does is it takes in a number and uh, you know it's basically a function to convert uh, degrees to radians right so you know if you want to if you know like some number you know some degree like 70 degrees or 180 degrees and if you want to know the pi equivalent of that then you can use this function so you type in select and then the name of the function which as i said is radians and then within parentheses you type in your degree argument so if you want to know the equivalent of 180 degrees in in uh, you know uh, number terms that would be 3.14 right because uh, we know that 180 degrees is pi and the value of pi is 3.14 so that's about the radians uh, function and it's not you know something that you would use a lot but you know you, you can just uh, have it in your function list and you know maybe you would be required to use it a couple of times the next function that we're going to uh, that we're going to look at is the square root function and this is uh, a very useful function so if you want to calculate the square root of let's say 196 and you type in 196 within parentheses and you press control enter and you would get 14 as uh, the answer in the results set, right? So square of 14 is 196, and if suppose you want to check for 225, then you just replace 225 there. Oh, what is what happened there? Yeah, so you would get uh, 15 as the answer, and it's not that this function can just accept whole number arguments. You can also pass in fractional arguments like 225.65438, and uh, it would still give you an answer. So. There you go, the square root of this number is 15.0218, and you know, uh, some more digits after that. Uh, the next function that we're going to check out is uh, even more useful. It's the truncate function, and uh, you must have guessed it. What it does is it truncates, right? So if suppose you have a long number and you want to chop it off, and by that I mean if you want to see only few digits after the decimal point, let's say for this number, you know, it's got how many digits? It's got four digits after the decimal point, and let's say in the result set, if you just want to see two, right? So then you put a comma after the number, and then you type in the number of digits that you want to see after decimal point. So if I uh, type in two here, I would just see 225.65. Right, and this is different from round, you know, it's not rounding off the number, it's just ignoring uh, any more digits that are there after the number of digits that are passed in as the second argument, right? So if suppose you want to th see three digits, let, let's make this number longer first, right? So if you want to see five digits maybe, then you know, uh, you can see now that we have 225.65485, so there are exactly five digits after the decimal point. So that's what truncate is. And uh, the last function that we're going to have a look at is the uh, random function or R-A-N-D. You know, you don't type in random completely, but just R-A-N-D with parentheses after uh, R-A-N-D. So what this function does is it generates a random number, right? You cannot tell what it's going to generate. It uses some complex uh, algorithm in the, in the back end to come up with the, you know, some number. And... Um, you know, I, I won't say that it generates a different number every time, you know, it, it could generate the same number like, you know, uh, in successive times, but uh, in good probability, it's going to generate a different number every time. And, you know, it's something that you could use if you're uh, having, uh, you know, a quiz or something, you know, if you're making a game, then, you know, this is uh, a function that you might use uh, sometimes. So. Uh, that's it for now. As I said, uh, you know, this should be enough uh, for uh, numeric functions. In the next tutorial, we are going to uh, check out some string functions. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you soon.